You know, TC and I were talking about in the pregame, you get to start winning games in the division. Up the middle. Oh, tremendous play by Bogarts from the knees and safe. Seven, three home runs. He's driven in 16. By the way, what happened at the Garden last night? What, oh. on, what on earth happened? And no one could stop Jimmy Butler. Cut on and missed. Mancini to be followed by Santander. Playing at home, it's a huge advantage. 1 1 ripped and out of the glove of Devers. It rolls behind him, and he has no play. And Mullins will be safe at second base. Home runs and driven in 24 at the bat. Right out of the gate. They do charge Raffi with an error at third. The fastball. Got the win eight to four last time out. Six and two thirds. Walked one man. Man, that smells great. Here comes the two one. And flick foul. Oh, he's going to be around the plate, around the strike zone. Moved him back. 98. You better get out of the way. Three and two. Me. Just getting started. Bounding ball. There's nobody home there at the shortstop position. Here comes Mullins. He is in to score easily to make it one to nothing. Son. And he'll cut and miss for strike one. Got the split. We're in the eighth inning. Seventh and eighth, where it really started to come apart. Popped up. Franchi on the move. Cordero in foul ground has it. Pop. That the Red Sox have been leading or tied in the eighth inning. Eight times and lost those games. A turnaround. Safe at first base. And so you and I were smelling the grill for real, but fair enough. Odor, hot hitter, grounds that one foul. Has an 11 game hitting streak. Close to knocking the Red Sox out of postseason play, actually. Absolutely, yep. Again, yesterday, a close one. They're 33 and 13. Well, so that's one to me where if someone runs away, there's only so much you can do. But you can still focus on, you know, yourself. A realistic goal for this team and always has been. 2-2. Two -two. Big hack by Odor always takes one. I bring Tampa Bay back a little bit. There's six and a half behind to first and a little bobble there by Cordero, but he recovers in time and Nate Evaldi gets only fam. I did, yes. This is like hot shot backing up Raphael Devers and gets it there. Two up and two down. Johnny both playing. Right, in the virtual world. Ground ball to short. And nice inning there for Nathan Evaldi. Three ground balls, three outs. Those guys were to be inducted before the pandemic, delayed a little bit, but it for me and my family, and I was thrilled uh, to be out there. We, we, we had 12 members of Team Duquette, Daniel's wife, Aaron, and so we were just absolutely thrilled. And I gotta, I gotta say, I was uh, humble. The two-headed monster, <laughs> David Ortiz and Manny Ramirez. Owings, uh, the work you did in bringing, resurrecting the career of Tim Wakefield, which was huge. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a great player development story. We got to pick him up. And then we had Phil Necro on the backfield in Fort Myers, Florida. He was working for the core Silver Bullets. Yep. And we, hey, you learn how to control the knuckleball, change speeds on it, field your position. You can pitch till you're 45. Uh, real happy for Timmy. But you always felt like you were in some ways a part of bringing that championship here I know that generation quest to win a championship right uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna I'm gonna nominate that day ship and to me as far as I'm concerned that was leadership yeah like enough of that with the Yankees right, right? telling everybody and putting them on notice Ooh, man Raffi had to make a big time I pumped your tires pretty pretty well back then. <laughs> I mean, to, to, uh, to see that happen as a Dalton Mass native, 
you know, and take such a, a hand in it, really satisfying for your entire family. Well, I mean, it was a thrill for my family. Uh, Ground ball that'll get down the line and a hit from Mancini. He will reach with two down. I was always grateful for the opportunity. Harry Dalton, the Western West, we ultimately won the championship. Uh, Cut on and missed here by Santander. And you also drafted a guy who's now one of our booth colleagues. And I knew you'd be, you knew he would be. Um, Uke, Uke's had a great career, right? He, he was the heart and soul. Uh, he was once when I got here and when I left, it was the most diverse because we had recruited internationally. Uh, we recruited pitchers from all over the. And it transformed the organization, but it was also good for business. The Red Sox became a worldwide brand, right? We had. Uh, and it, it, it continues today. And that and nice walk by after he got inducted into the Hall of Fame and they retired his number up the right field. Toward the alley, Hernandez, a long run. He'll track it down. Got a good jump on it. Can you stay another half an hour? Dan Duquette joining us in the booth. Groups as we welcome you back field side here to Fenway Park. Red Sox on top 3 1 here in the fourth oh. inning. And Tony, you mentioned some of those roster yesterday with the lefties, and they're going to need them because this is their first nine inning double header this season. You guys might remember a couple seasons past. It's Nate's having an bounce back after that second inning after a Baltimore run there. He seems to have really found his rhythm now again here late. Uh, continue. Well, I'm with you 100%. I, I thought they should have kept it. Uh, Hayes with a chopper and one away in the fourth. I, I just thought it was a less of a burden because of the seven inning double headers. And then to, he totally defaulted back to the seven inning double header. He went, oh, right, they changed that back. Mount Castle double play first time up, although originally he was ruled safe at first base. They took a look at it after the Red Sox appealed. He was not very happy that the Red Sox fell asleep on that play, but. Sox have bounced back and scored three times. Minimal damage. Picked up three in the second to take the lead. The value of a true number one starter. You know, an ace kind of guy like Nathan Evaldi. Mark, you say we got our ace going. We're going to be in this. We're going to win it. Swing and a miss and down he goes. Bob Castle fans. Two gone for Odor. It takes a giant cut most of the time. He's been getting a lot of hits too. It's 10,000 more in the ballpark. You look up two hours later, there's another 5,000 in the ballpark. I think a lot of these fans will be here for game two. And that is in there for strike. And center field. Here's the one two. Yank foul. Another curveball there by Evaldi. Once this guy gets you. Difference there between 99 and 78 against the same hitter, and he skipped that one up there. Two and two. And the 2 2. Quick pitch there. Swung on and missed. He struck him out. That was a nasty heater. 99. Thursday. Red Sox, of course, were playing in Chicago, and that one will be ripped down the line by Arias. It'll bounce all the way up against the monster. Verdugo has to dig it out. Gun. Here's the throw, and it's going to be too late. Save. Arias with a double. Now. Speaking of dazzling things, did you happen to get a look at Big Poppy's poo to get a pair of jeans like that? <laughs> but David went there. Of course, he did. 97. Snuck. Strut right down Fifth Avenue. Foul back here by Chirinos. Ortiz and Manny going in together too. Sure. Oh. They really were prolific. His career with the Red Sox was silly. Silly. Yeah, oh yeah. How good he was. Deep drive. Forget about this one. Kiss this one goodbye. A two-run shot by Chirinos. And that's going to tie this ball game up in the fifth inning. Well, so there you go, just like that, locked up again. This was a slider. Evaldi gave up a hitter. Here's always a shortstop. He struck out first time up. That's 16 home what? runs that Nate has allowed this season. That's one more than he gave up. Going to open a day. Been a head scratcher. 
solo shot once in a while. Different kind of damage, obviously. The one one. Yeah, those start to hurt a little bit for sure. So if you're a hitter, you know, there are many times you have to scramble to. Three one pitch and he'll walk him. That's his first walk. So especially when people are talking about kind of a flat baseball. Hot shot. Cordero has got it down to second for an out. Trying to make the transfer and that's going to be an out, but they don't get the double play. And that's that's obviously the toughest double play to turn. I'm not I'm not sure they would have had a chance to, to finish that off. Today. Runner goes, his Plowicki's throw, and not going to get him. Mullins with a stolen base, so they have to go ahead run in scoring position. Well, he gets up. 1 1. He's got power, too. 30 home run guy. Mullins at second. He was late on that cut. That was 96 miles an hour to put him away. Another quick out here would help. As ordered, Bogarts on the opposite side will get him. But a two run homer by Chirinos has tied the game at the midway point of game one. Real quick, guys, a reminder how much everybody at Nesson loves the game. Adam Pellerin here with, uh, of course, he does uh, Nesson Clubhouse. Uh, Adam, why are you here today? You know, just like TC. He get some time. You know, what are you going to do? Are you going to kick back and watch a game? Nathan Navaldi out there again. Gave up a two-run shot in the fifth. No. They do appeal no hitless so far today. And the one-two pitch. Lined into right, but Jackie's right there. Barely had to move. One away. One of the things I wanted to ask Dan Duquette while well, talking about, you know, building the Boston Red Sox, you know, drafting Nomar, what? trading for Pedro, Jason Veritek, Derek Lowe, getting 0 2 pitch. And that's going to drop into right field for a base hit. So Mountcastle is on with a one out single. I wanted to ask him about the Orioles because. Ballpark to be in. Odor up the middle, charged by Xander, taps the bag on the first double play. That will retire. Red Sox have the lead here on the Orioles thanks to Bobby Dahlbeck's home run. And Bobby will remain in the game to play first. They have a home run, two run shot, fifth inning to tie it, but the Sox come right back with a blast from Bobby. And support of Nathan Ivaldi. Two and one. Time out. He threw 101. He's done that three times this year. That's his season high. Thing is, I didn't have a problem with that. It's just so rare to see. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. Of all the run on a slider as well. Oh. 98 away. Red Sox stack the infield. Three men on the left. He goes right up the middle for a royal. Two up, two down. Up in the zone a little bit. Boeing's knocks a foul. He's got over one with a walk. 0 1. Left it down. Valdi looking for one, two, three. He's done that. They do appeal, but no swing. Three and one. He does have one walk today. It was this man, Owings, in the fifth. And the righty's three one. Pumped in there. It's two consecutive games for Raphael. 3-2 and a ground ball behind the bag. Devers on target. He gets him very quickly over Amika Auto Home and Life Insurance. So 
Nate gets one out here in the eighth inning, and that'll be a season high. Mullins leading things off. He has a hit today, one for three. He'll roll that one right to Bobby Dolbeck. And a quick out. Heaney is one for three with a single. And a dandy in there for a strike at slider here at Fenway. Just hanging out with Dad. I remember when mine were that little. They talk back less at that age. <laughs> Do I have it? Oh, yes. My older one now is driving. Yeah. And, and how's that going for you? It was the wreck. My wife was the steady hand. Of the other seat chopped to the middle. Arroyo got him. Two down. Down in the eighth. So I keep looking at my schedule here, Obi, because Thursday's an off day. Hit hard. Xander up and over. It just gives him off. Game one of the doubleheader against Baltimore. Austin Hayes in. And looking at a strike, and that's 102 pitches. A little pumped up to be back out there. Up the middle and a base hit. So Hayes is on to start the ninth inning. And remember, it's just a during in that bullpen. Mount Castle, one for three. He's already been doubled up once. That was in the first inning. Pumped in at 97. We're going to keep the pitch count down a little bit. That's good. Bouncer. And his second one on the first. 